Hello right, everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... He is a mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And welcome back... Uh, welcome back... 
Uh, welcome again to Dust and Elysian Tale for our fourth stream of this. And yeah, last time there was a bit of a, a harsh lesson. And wait, is it still? Oh, come the hell on! Why does it keep happening each and every blading time? Like I'm, I'm pretty sure this keeps happening because with the game just getting a command from the keyboard first, but I didn't even bloody touch it as it was starting up, so give me a second to restart this stupid thing. Uh, at least we know what, how to fix it quickly. Yeah, I, I just... Yeah, it's the game just being temperamental. I believe it's now every single time that this has happened, maybe it's, except for the first stream. Yeah. Except the first stream in the first showcase. Okay. And hello, Pizza Lover, and I'm doing fine. <laughs> yeah, doing well. I'm slightly amused because I think I've just gotten a scam message through WhatsApp. I'm gonna just... <laughs> and I'm just thinking, are you people this stupid? They didn't even freaking capitalize their sentences and such. So, yeah, I'll be checking that and reporting that after the stream. Now, let's see... Yeah, last time we also arrived at, well, this place, which is quite the hellhole. But where we had to visit four mansions, get four items, and, well, bring them back to Granny over here. We also got the ability to finally climb those blasted vines. Okay. Let's see. It's, uh, I'm playing the game I was doing, uh, I was doing previous stream, just pirating, looting some booty and assassinating people, so I'll not be talking much. Assassin's Creed 4, I'm guessing, Black Flag? All right, Cora, I found your four keepsakes. Now, will you please explain what's going on here? Let's see, probably, uh, probably lurking since I haven't been delaying it a lot, and yeah, <laughs> Black Flag. Oh, this painting and the ring, my goodness. I'm sorry, Dust. You see, these were my husbands. Many long years ago, this was my home. And how long ago was this place destroyed then? Because it looks like it's been like this for ages. You lived here? Yeah. Whoa, you must have been loaded. But wait, if you lived here, why wouldn't you move all the way outside of Roran into that tiny shack of yours? It makes no sense! Yeah, uh, I guess I think you can take a good guess as to why if you look around, Fidget. When my husband died, the estate fell into disrepair. All the servants abandoned us in a single night. My husband, you see, was not the most pleasant of people to be around. And then, of course, there was the source of his money. What did he do? He was something of a war profiteer. He would give the king's general information about Moonblood sympathizers and receive money in return. Our friends, our family. Nobody was safe from his treachery. Uh, also, are you getting a lot of stuttering through the audio or is that just my stupid headset? I hear no stutter. Okay, then it's just on my end. Let me guess. That general's name was Gaius. Why, yes! How did you know? Just a pattern I've been noticing is all. Yeah. So wait, you're saying that demon we've been seeing is... My husband, Cain. His rage has consumed him. And now he is trapped in this place, consuming the souls of wayward travelers to become ever more powerful. With my own life drawing to a close, I knew it was time to put things right. But I fear had you not come along, I would not have been able to find these items and free him. So, what do we do now? We've got your four watches. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. It's never going to be that easy. Will these keepsakes quell his anger? They are meant to remind him of all the good things he left behind. Rage will become regret, and that will be the time to strike. Wait, strike? Strike? You mean we need to fight that thing? 
Is there no other way, Ara? Unfortunately, no. The power of those keepsakes will weaken Cain's rage. But we must sever the demon from Cain's spiritual form. Continue attacking him and the connection should break. Then I can cast the demon back into the darkness once more. Prepare yourself, Dust. Oh, great. <laughs> Time to become an exorcist. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yep, that be summoning this freaking undead. Okay. Did that build a good amount of tip whip? Did he just pull the agent out of air or something? I bet you blinked and missed. Hold, Dust. His state has calmed. The rage that consumed him has been driven back into the darkness. Cora? Cora, is that you? Yes, Cain. Yes, it's me. Is it done? Have you come back to us? Oh, Cora. I have done such terrible things. I betrayed my friends. Turned them over to General Gaius for money power my life this mansion everything i ever owned was bought with the blood of those i loved it's okay my love i know i know everything that is why i left you but i have come to help you set things right once again i am so sorry cora I should have trusted you. I should have told you. I just... I thought you would abandon me. I thought the one good thing I ever had would leave me to die alone. I'm here now, my love. And I will never leave you again. And you, robed one, you helped drive that demonic presence away. I owe you a debt of thanks that I fear can never be truly repaid. Actually, you can repay that debt right now. You worked with General Gaius, and I aimed to drive him from these lands. I was told you may know something that could help me find him. Well, that's easy. Simply go where there are moonbloods. Their last remaining encampment is hidden far to the north. If General Gaius knew where it was, he would personally lead the charge to wipe it off the map. Do you know where this hidden camp is? Nobody does except for the Moonbloods and... But no, that's impossible. What? Why? There was a village of Moonblood sympathizers in the mountains. I revealed their location to General Gaius. Everyone was supposed to be killed, but before I died, I remember hearing that a survivor had escaped to Aurora. Ginger? You're talking about Ginger? I'm afraid that's all I know. If you can find this ginger, perhaps you will find your moonbloods. From there, you only need wait for the general to find you. Then we'd better hurry, Dust. Ginger's already got a head start on us. But what about the barrier? The work of the demon that imprisoned me, no doubt. With your twin souls, it likely did not want you to leave this valley before it could devour you. Twin souls? What are you talking about? You did not know. You possess a rare gift. Two souls joined as one. Never have I seen it before. Ara, what does he mean? I... Soon, Dust. Very soon, all of this will be explained. Come, we can discuss this later. We must hurry if we are to find Ginger and learn the location of this Moonblood camp. You're right, but we can't just leave Cora here. That's all right, dearie. I've not the strength to return home. And I would rather spend my final hours catching up with my dear husband by my side. I cannot thank you enough, Dust. You've done more for us than I could possibly have asked for. I knew there was something special about you the moment I laid eyes on you. 
thanks seem a paltry thing to offer in return for the deeds you have done here today. But they are all I have to give. I do hope you are able to find your friend in time, and that General Gaius is made to pay for his crimes against this world. Then farewell, my friends. Good luck to the two of you, in this life and the next. Just reality check. Did we just exercise a demon from beyond the pale? That we did. Hopefully the two of them finally find some semblance of peace. Anyway, let's get moving. We've got a lot of ground to cover. And of course we explode in a level up. <laughs> <laughs> okay I don't want to walk all the way back so we're just going to do a quick teleport and it was a okay. new area hmm. here we go actually we should check on yeah you see I just knew standing around here would pay off that barrier couldn't take it anymore and just shattered. <laughs> you didn't you didn't win a staring contest with a magic wall, Afghustin. <laughs> Good work, Afghustin. I knew I could count on you. Are you heading up the mountain? This is a long way up, but the old road was blocked off ages ago, so you don't have much choice. Don't worry about us. You stay here and guard these rocks. I'll take it as a personal challenge. You and me, Dust, we're gonna save the world! <laughs> uh, at least he stays enthusiastic. Yep. Chapter 4 Revelation. Okay. New region. Let's see. Quite the echo around here, or a reverberance, maybe the better words. The Blackmore Mountains. Okay. The wolves, of course. Okay, you ready to you? Something hmm. looks off with these wolves. Hmm. Some more spectral vest blueprints. I think we've got like a dozen of those now. No way? Hmm. Okay. So yeah, we have to chase after Ginger. And through her, find the Moonblood camp, and through that, well, wait for Gaius. Uh, let's open it up. There. Okay. Ice cream dish? <laughs> okay. Revenant of the Revenant of man. the Man. Let's see. 80 attack, 12 luck. The owner of this pendant swore to be possessed by demons. Okay, it's the one up upgrade we have now. Uh, it's only 20 extra attack. Then, actually... Wait. Why is it... Okay, why does it show green when it's actually going down? Or are we under the effect of a buff at the moment? Maybe? And also... I was sad to say this with her from the last boss. Probably get it from last episode. He probably got possessed by the demon who he was very angry with himself. That horse's own anger and hatred spawned the demon. Yeah, That's... but he, he did find notes telling about he was crying his own office. And... Let's see. I've only been able to make this climb once, but I'm not sure if I ever want to return to that place. I think something was wrong with my eyes. It was so rocky and frigid. Or was that blocky and rigid? Okay. Was that a clue? 
Sounds like oh, one. Oh, I don't think those are wolves. They are rather mangy. Look at yeah. that. <laughs> Look at their heads. Also, I just noticed that the other enemies are wearing winter clothes. But why do, why do you think I call them snow imps? <laughs> okay, there. Okay, I got distracted for a moment there from the noise of the <laughs> of the combo going so high. Hmm. Okay. We just have to keep going up. And well, hope we find Ginger before Gaius finds her. Oop. A strong move could set off another avalanche. Oh, great. Don't look at me. You're the one who can't fly. <laughs> yes, but you're the one with the big mouth. <laughs> oh, no. Hey! <laughs> and of course, that sets off one. <laughs> okay, I, I caught her off a bit there. Oh, uh, hello. So, the great traitor has finally found everlasting peace. The great traitor? You're talking about Cain? My kind does not utter his name. His actions ended many innocent lives, and while his spirit may be absolved now, we remember only his life and the tragedy it wrought. He seemed truly remorseful for his actions. Perhaps he was. Perhaps we were to accept his remorse. This would not bring my family back. Let us not dwell on his wicked actions any more than we must. Very well. Yeah, remorse isn't going to return the dead. Let's see. Wolf? Okay, so they are wolf. <laughs> what else would a wolf drop? Those are some freaky looking wolves. Stone carapace. A, st a piece of shell from a stone cutter. This creature's called stone cutters? Okay. Let's see. We can sell one of these. 1.5 times gold drop plus 8 luck. I'll keep it around at least. Oh, those are expensive. To... Let's see. So those, okay. Anything new to buy from you? Let's see, 100, yeah, we've seen that before. Pen of the Madman, Cowards. Nothing new here, nothing new there. Okay, 1.1 times experience bonus. Let's see. And we have no more keys that we can buy from him. Transaction is most appreciated. For now. Okay. There. Okay. 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 Wait, there's something more hidden here? See a way up, but I won't be able to reach those ledges without some help. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find another way to tackle this cliff. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm guessing there's going to be another upgrade somewhere here then. <laughs> okay, I, I <laughs> actually didn't see those. <laughs> what, really? Yeah, they, they were a bit camouflaged with blue stuff and such. Okay. But then again, it took me until the what, the second stream for me to notice the Rayman thing with the knights in Life Goes On. True. I know these guys right away because I noticed 
the snow on their heads first. Okay, someone had set up camp here. Okay. Uh, we're going to fall down if we slide through that, but there's no other way. <laughs> Last survivor. And done. Metal augment. 360 attack times 1.8 fidget. Okay. We're going to need quite a bit for that, though. Yeah. Okay. Save points. Okay, this time I saw you, little bastards. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, hello. Okay, the heck are you? Yep. I'm Ice Elemental? What was your thought? That right, she's silenced. Whatever it is, it doesn't really like fidgets. Don't hold back, Fidget. <laughs> I don't think her insults are going to hurt it much. Ow! <laughs> and we got the double jump from falling into it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wings? There. Key. Nice. Yeah, double jump may be a rather basic move, but it is always useful. Oh yeah, but I think there's very few game rooms that don't have double jump. Yeah. Yeah. Though I, I hear that some people do not like it, or at least not having access to it early in a game, since it removes challenge and danger from platforming. But mostly in early game. Having it as a yeah. mid to late game upgrades, I'd say that's a lot better. Yeah. Go. Do they, I think I have seen games where you almost wanted to. But basically, you just need the WM early on. Because the game is early on designed for it. Yeah. Okay, nothing to gain that way. Deep. Frozen Blade. Okay, not as strong as the previous. But we can probably get this a lot easier. Okay. Just grabbing up the extra cash. Oop. Press too late there for the double jump. There. And there we go. Now what is over here? Okay. XAB and Ring of Sturdy. Let's see. Eight regen, four attack, fourteen defense, double fidget, and twelve luck. Okay. Awarded to students in the Craftsman's Guild on the eve of their apprenticeships. Okay. Hmm. All right. Yeah, let's actually make one of these. Okay. Hmm. Let's go with that. 
it will get less item drops like this, but I think we've got more than plenty for quite a while from all of the stuff we did get already. <laughs> Okay. There's still stuff hidden around here somewhere. It's a good chance that there's something hidden below, probably. Or, or right here. Hello, that's a new snowsuit. Okay, plus 200 defense, 8 luck, and 2 regen. A suit meant to protect its wearer from possible frostbite and bitter cold. It will also protect you from enemy attacks. Okay, we need more wolf pelts and more ice shards for that. Oop. There we go. <laughs> we can get that now that we have a double jump. Okay. I like that they actually give a thing for the double jump instead of just being able to, well, literally just jump on nothing. <laughs> okay, it seems we did miss something in the upper right. But, oh well. We're here for the story, not 100% completion. Yeah. No, I'm not against the uh, taking side quest. So uh, I think that every level will be useful. That's something down here. Oop. Double things down here. Hello? Okay. A Y Y. A. B B X. And Why did that's... you save the keys for uh, cages? Yeah, but we might as well use them on some of these we find along the way. Yeah, let's see. A ring signifying the close bond between master and servant. Okay. 8 regen, 2 attack, 12 defense, 1.5 fidget, 12 luck. Hmm. Yeah, I'll stick with the rings we have. And now we're getting pushed around by the wind. Okay. Sorry, Gus. I don't think you're double jumping over that. Stupid avalanches ruin everything. Go ahead, name me one good thing an avalanche has ever done. Um. Um. Uh, depends on point of respect. They probably have stopped a few invading armies and such. Well, now that you mention it. This might be a crazy idea, but maybe we can clear some of the snow off of that mountainside. Yeah, and Mulan probably would have ended up quite differently if there hadn't been an avalanche. You yeah. Make another avalanche? That's the idea, yes. You're crazy. I love it. Oh. Really? Do I need to be the voice of caution here? Need I explain how creating an avalanche puts us all in danger? <laughs> this what game the... is just so clippable at some parts, huh? Wait, hold on, hold on. That was a different tone from him. <laughs> yeah, probably because he's really freaking annoyed right now. <laughs> uh. It's really the only way, Ara. Yeah, Ara, it really is. Is it? It is. Very well. Let's do this thing. Oh no. I'm just going to make a little note of the time for me to clip those bits out. Well, that did something. It sure did. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we find another one. Huh? That obviously wasn't enough. We need to break more pillars. Fidget, I think the bitter cold is creating lapses in your judgment. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I'm perfectly... perfectly... Thank you. Yeah, she is a lot smaller, so the, the cold would 
affect her a lot faster as well. Dust, be careful. Watch overhead. The snow is not the only thing you are shaking loose. Okay. Yeah, you don't want one of those through the top of your skull. Oop. Yeah, it has happened to people in real life. Only a few survived it, though. Not many have survived it, 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 it directly to the head. Yes. Ice might be fragile, but it can still be hard enough to, well, just utterly kill you. Case in point! <laughs> yeah. Like a tiny one would be fine, but these, no. No, you'd end up as a, a frigid shish kebab. <laughs> You know, I've just seen a picture where a lot of massive icicles fell down on someone's car. Let me guess, they got a new sunroof? Nope, it was a regular metal roof. That's two. Yeah, what I meant is that they, <laughs> they just pierced right through to make room. Oh! Going to clear away that no. <laughs> Someone's getting delirious. We really should get you someplace warm, Fidget. I think you're coming down with something. Never. Oh no. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> yeah, Fidget yeah. is getting a bit delirious. Yeah, but well, it impaired the roof. The back trunk and in front part. Uh, what? Uh. Come back here, you. Okay, that was a woolly minotaur. A yaktor or something? Oh dear, I remember something I learned yesterday from one of the newest videos from Casual Geographics. No. Oh. Hmm? I thought some animal I thought was like maybe a guinea bison or I know this moose, but no, it was a goat called Taken. <laughs> Almost went in again. And I did not know goats could get that huge. <laughs> uh, okay, interesting. <laughs> Interesting arena. What the heck? Should she really be caught in spells when she's having a cold? Uh, probably not. But <laughs> she is going to whether we want to or not. Ow. Okay, now the icicles get mixed in as well. Okay. There, be gone. Okay. okay. So be careful. And. Okay. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. Okay, let's have a look. Nothing too new. Do we have anything new? Yes, tough metal. A reinforced, a reinforced bit of steel from a powerful weapon. Okay, and would, hollow uh, shot. Yeah. yeah. We need those for the thing we want to make, but selling them to him... We'll ensure that we can buy it at the next shop. Yeah. Also, was it this that we needed? Scrap metal? Your transit. Watch your back, my friend.
Let's have a quick look. Uh, winter vest. Okay, we need five shards, seven skins. Um, okay, two mass scrap metal and four tough metal. Okay, we can probably get the metal just from drops. Hello. Ah, great. Oh! It's pictures, picture they show in those crystals. Yeah, Over. that's who they're attacking. <laughs> so we have to interrupt them before they can finish their spells. There we go. That is a lovely singing voice. Stop, Fidget. Just stop. Oh, I think I'm kind of down with something. You only now figured it out. Yes, it is. We figured that out on our own. Come, Dust. Let us continue. <laughs> Okay, the the wise mentor tone has fully fallen away because he is the sword is just so freaking done with us. That's not a <laughs> sentence you hear so often, I think. Uh. Right, we need to be closer to pull it off in the first place. Okay. Yep. Oh, that definitely did something. Come on, let's get back to the surface. Be careful, Dust. I sense a powerful presence has been stirred by your actions. Let's not keep it waiting then. Uh -oh. Yeah, before it goes find someone else to play with. Hmm. Okay, those can we lure a wolf to get through that? Okay, they can't actually bypass each other. Okay. Neat little detail. It just means that if we want that key, we need to go all the way around. Oh, hello again, you. Okay, get a metal. Okay. Now, what sort of damage have we caused? <laughs> the path above has been made clear. Onward and upward. I knew that this was a bad idea. It was a bad idea. We, we were just lucky to have a good outcome with it. Mm. Okay, this, this one's just completely buried. Okay. Yep. Uh, mm. Ew, yep, definitely just timed that right. Oh, yeah, we're not jumping down that fidget. Yep, now. Okay, I thought the I thought it was going to come over here, but nope. That was a dumb thought of me. Also, notice when we stop and turn, it leaves a little bunch of snow. <laughs> okay. Detail. Okay, where's the next one? Or is it done? It, nope. It, it almost jumped right into it. And okay, this is where we were just now. Only on the other side. Hmm. I'll leave that one be. I don't really want to go around again. Mm. 
Okay, Wait, you must be able to grab it and slide back out before you fall down. I don't think I'd be quick enough for that. Oop. Oh, hello. But if you first. There we go. Okay. Are we done? Oop. I was just about to say, are we done with the avalanches? Oop. Come here, you. It looks like they're smart enough to at least try and run away when they're hurt. Oop. Hmm. Okay, they're dropping the same souls as the liches. Blew my nose quickly. Okay. down and one up this way yeah i think next time i have a cold <laughs> i feel my nose clogged i just eat some spicy food <laughs> yeah that'll that'll <laughs> that tends to get things running it speaking of they should have run Okay, I'll take free loot. For clarification, I am not sneezing out avalanches from my nose. Not that you'll admit to, at least. Hello? No, no. Uh, oh, wait, uh, I was about to say we get push through Dario, but I realized no, those are meant for when I sneeze. Oh, now I remember where I got, may have gotten that from. No. Or a variation of it. For... Do you remember some of the very old Skyrim commercials? I don't think I've ever seen them, really. Yeah, there were a few. There were some the moment they were youthful. Like, for example, uh, but, uh, I'm part of a song. Like, then you look at me and say something stupid like I love you, but they shouldn't allow you with push through door and uh, some of the, the white flowers out the window. I think my, my idea of the push through door sneeze may be nice. something spawned from that. Could be. But I will not be surprised either if I see the YouTuber or something do that joke. Well, we have said... Uh, it is... Or, uh, I think I've said this a few times before, but when you sneeze, it, it is actually at hurricane force for like a, a fraction of a second or something. So you, you mean it's a valid point to compare it to Fusruta? Yeah. Yes. All right, I guess more of you. If we ever meet each other in real life, I try to see if I blew you over when I sneeze. There Just go. make sure there's some addresses Me. outside the window. Just in case you fly out. <laughs> okay. Chill a little right up. Yep. Let's stay on. Okay. Yep. Let's 
there. Yep, there's one right after us. This is some sort of like magical roller coaster or something. Okay. Mitsu can I wonder who, what were the original purpose here? Yeah. So ain't clear eyes naturally rather rare? Uh, yeah, clear eyes is typically uncontaminated, like pure water. Okay, we don't want to go down. Yep, we want to go up. Yep. Okay, apparently we don't want to go up. Why not? Hmm. Yeah, because we don't have a bomb flower to get through that wall. Flower? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to tell you all. My friend Helian apparently only wear the difference between a fruit and a flower. It goes boom. That's all that's important with it. <laughs> Ooh. In a way, you could say apples or flowers for... Where apple turn into an apple, they it's the flower that bulbs up into an apple. Yeah. It's so when I told that to some friends, they just looked at me as if I was crazy. <laughs> I didn't even believe it when I showed them the pages. Okay, I, I don't know if they look stupid or uh, or adorable in those little outfits. Maybe both? It... Let's see... Yeah, we well, say when it comes to those kinds of winter gear, you, uh, you either look adorable or damn silly. <laughs> There, you can check that out. He can check out his uh, costume at the bottom of the mountain. I think and... the other point is where those snow gears can look cool, but it's usually one of the other two. And yeah, it looks like the wind is just going to keep up here. Oh, I remember these. <laughs> 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 uh, I was, one of my birthdays, I was with some friends and returned home, we had a snowstorm. It was back then where I was seeing some snow, but only after New Year. And when I returned to my dorm, um, my beard and mustache were frozen. <laughs> and it was before I had as much beard as I have now, even. So I actually had to... Let my beard fall. Ooh, hello, big boy. But yeah, the children's kid jokefully call me Frostbeard. Okay, there's a sliding path there. How the heck would, how the heck is, did Ginger get all the way up through all of this? Or did she find another way or something? Probably. Okay, for now we'll just have to keep battling the winds. Oop. Oh, oh, I see. Or not? Come here. Okay, I thought for a moment we had to get across with the platforms and that the, the sliding hole was there for if we fell all the way down. But no, they come down low enough for us to get back in. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. 
Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Kush pelts. A massive pelt big enough to picnic on. <laughs> okay. They are called Kush. Apparently. Okay. I think we have enough scrap metal. Let's see. A thousand each, but we can afford that. The okay. transaction is most appreciated. Thank you. Okay. I have a feeling the developers for this game did not know of the kingdom of Kush. Oh? Yep. In from Africa. I am. Doesn't sound familiar to me. But then again, most of them. They were okay. around, I think, at the same time and after uh, the Pharaohs. Okay. Your trans. Thank you. Okay. Let's make this thing. We just get a massive boost. There. Wait, hold okay. on. You. I pretty sure should have been mentioned by. Uh, what were they called? Sarcastic, sarcastic production. Uh, no, overly sarcastic productions. Overly sarcastic. Okay, thank you. Uh, could be that we they mentioned it, but up. they mentioned so many things across so many videos that yeah, stuff just gets lost along the way. Yeah. But I like the content. I just given up due to... There's so many times I have to pause to read the text they threw up at the same time. It kind of gets... disorganized. Look, up ahead, a village. Now you don't need to pause it to read. It's, it's, it's just there for humor most of the time, except on their detailed diatribes. All the way up here? Do you think it's that Moonblood camp Kane was talking about? No, it's something else. It's... En enough talking. Let's get up there. Okay. Is there something on the right here? <laughs> Nope. There, there was a road here. I remember it. Before that day. Hello? <gasps> Memories oh, starting no. to come to the surface? <sighs> halt! What? No. Impossible! Cassius! What did you call me? Who are you? What are you doing in this place? You... You were dead! No. No, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are, but you will not step any closer! Kill this... thing! I thought, what Wait. kind of weapon is that? Some sort of Biden, But... A weird one? It's just... It's a short spear with its own bayonet. Why? Why destroy such a peaceful place? We didn't want any of this. Gus, what are you talking about? And who is Cassius? That's not... It's not my name. I remember it. I'd know it when I heard it. Zeppelich Village. Destroyed as well, it seems. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here one year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Aro, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, Dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. Like what secrets you are hiding? This house... Do you remember? 
or something, Dust? This is impossible. Dust? How? Do you see now? But how, Ara? I don't understand. The answers lie above, Dust. Ginger, she was sleeping right here on the night I came to say goodbye. But I hesitated. I didn't want to wake her. Didn't want her to worry about me. She couldn't know what I was about to do. Dust, what are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean, you're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember now, but how? How can I have helped destroy this village, but be a victim of that same act? That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They are Jin's eyes. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. The soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king. An act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village! Murdered my friends and family! You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? It's not possible. I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are djinn, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday. That he would come back. But could you really be him? Ginger... I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. Mm, yeah, that's the truth. This is some unique twist I've not seen before. 
Yeah, dust is a revenant of two souls. Who, or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see, my people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all, and while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin. Just like you said, opposites. Exactly. Cassius was one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen. And Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world, so we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. You say that, but in all cases, you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought to save. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. And now I'm here. Yes, now you are here. And we can finish this fight once and for all. Who was Fuse? He said he was a Moonblood, but he looks nothing like you. Fuse. He was once a fine warrior and a close friend of Ginger's family. He would help transport goods between this village and our camp. After the village was destroyed, I guess he lost his mind. He was horribly disfigured after the attack. The only way he could survive was in a special suit of magical armor that I helped to construct. He demanded we attack General Gaius right away, but I would not hear any of it. He would have killed us all in the name of vengeance. We would not have stood a chance. When I refused to send our warriors into battle, he called me a coward and vowed that he would destroy Gaius with or without my help. I fear the very armor we made to save his life had corrupted his mind and body beyond repair. Poor guy. If only we could have gone through to him somehow. No, you're right to kill him. If he had remained alive, there's no telling what damage he could have done. Ginger is right. Fuse was beyond saving. For all our sakes, I hope the same is not true of the world he sought to protect. How does the Blade of Ara fit into all this? What is it, exactly? It is one of the five blades of Elysium. Ancient weapons forged when our kind were many and the way of the flameless light was commonplace. So the Moonbloods made the blades. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? A path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought, that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. Surely, as Nimbat's sword guardian, you've studied the ancient doctrines. 
You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. You don't know, Major, do you? I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure a balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Take a guess how old he is then, Fidget. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. Right. I have no more questions. What now? You must join us in the Moonblood Camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. Well, that's fantastic. Volcanoes? Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know. How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or someplace that doesn't explode every ten minutes? Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Oak Mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you, really? I am... I... Uh... You see? You still haven't figured it out yet! Lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know! Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just... <sighs> if I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following and why. I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. Fidget, please. I can't do this without you. Can you, uh... Can you repeat that? I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry, I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. And it won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. Quite the lore dump, but I'd say it's done very well, actually. Yeah, and they say new ID is how all be used that. Lo and behold, I did something new and unique, as far as I know. General Guys? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it. But Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. 
We possess superior technology, and we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend. So long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. Why is... I, I, are they by the volcano or did they burn the king's castle? I have no idea where the heck they actually are. Yeah, but it's burning, whatever it is, and... Oh yeah, now we have two new areas. One that we got <laughs> earlier down there, and now this one up here. So... Uh, yes, yeah, Sanctuary. This is where we can find the, uh... The cameos. After we release them. We might as well take a quick look. <laughs> yeah, that's a Spelunky. Her, whoever the hell she is, a purple resonance gem. Okay, uh, a DJ booth with a dog head on it? Uh, what? Uh, do you recognize- go back, Kill. Look again. Do you recognize it? It looks somewhat familiar, but I'm drawing a blank yeah. beyond that. We saw that when you started oh. up the game. The logo. <laughs> Hyperduck. Okay, I, I was thinking of that it was a reference to some genre, or to some game or something, not to the developers. <laughs> oh dear. Chapter 5, Legend. Already? Yep. And I think this may be the last chapter. Or wind? And also, yeah. why does everyone keep doing this for the When you've been in a cold place, you go to hot, or the worse. You. Apologies, Mithrari. Please, enter. Contrast, I'm guessing? Why are you wearing those here? Now they are cold-blooded, so they rather prefer the heat. We welcome your presence, Sen Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most Moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. Probably not even enough to keep a stable gene pool. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Ah, uh, well, no pressure or anything. Yeah. Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sereth. Aha! I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys! How did a Moonblood operate so freely in the Wildlands? He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius' soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Yeah, they sent a spy to spy on the spy the Moonblood's head spying on us. Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has. 
and destroy us. I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintak, and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in, Dust. This could take a while. We Sintak harnessed a power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong, because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. <laughs> Referencing the fact that whenever we head out of a region, we set up camp. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, we believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons. Stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sinduk in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we are supposed to fight these things with your... lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. <laughs> well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours, but with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Okay. From what he been speaking, I think they have enough to save this species. They said they are near extinction, not certain extinction. However, if they do lose this battle, yeah, then they're then, done for, no matter what. Yeah, then the Yin pool is, is in danger, so... Yeah, they need to win this. With minimum losses. Jin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Aro was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listen to Jin? Yeah, he's kinda hard to ignore. His own uh, shoulder devil and angel. He is, isn't he? Or at least he was. No, Ginger, I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village, killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin... Jin keeps him from taking control. 
As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path. To leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. Okay. Wait, I just realized something here. Mm -hmm. If they're cool blooded, then they will hate volcanoes. For pe if, mm -hmm. Here's the thing, people. If you fe people think cold blood love heat, that's not truly true. Like, men breakfast will avoid the beach on the hottest days. Well, because it would make the blood boil. Yeah. So, them being here in winter clothing is basically the driver's misconception of, of cold blood. Mm -hmm. uh, don't, yeah, we don't want to go into the lava here. Oh, yeah. It, <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're warm blood or cold blood, lava will kill you. Yeah, I'm guessing they have some of their flameless light technology to somehow keep them somewhat cooled. Then again, there's also the fact that fantasy lava tends to, well, not do anything until you actually fall into it. Yeah. What is over here? Ruins. There's the generator. Let's see if we can find a way to get it working again. Okay, I think I might have skipped the start of a quest then. I sense no energy emanating from the device dust. Perhaps there is a way to return its spark? A spark, you say? Well done, Fidget. The camp should now be receiving power. Honestly, Fidget, where would I be without you? Probably still be wandering around in the mountains outside of Roar. Wait, what? <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, he probably would, though. He probably would. <laughs> oh. I won't expect you to accidentally land in that one small lava pool by accident. There's no luck for you this time, but luck for dust. Luck for me? What? Yep, oh, hello. Yep. <laughs> it's okay, slow roast. <laughs> Fast roast. <laughs> okay. Ow. Rock monster. Okay. Hmm. I think we might be able to finish the game at this rate. But we'll have to see how things out go. Yeah, for... Again, I think it's good for us to be very careful. Uh, actually, yeah. You should always be careful when we go over the time sense. Yeah, yeah. there are many times it, it, it was clearly easier to fight the boss after a good night's rest. Yeah. And, well, it, it is better to just have a shorter stream at the start and then follow it up with something else. <laughs> Yeah, and I know you said you prefer not to, but in the long run for both our sanity, yeah, it's easy just to cut in glue, if that makes sense. Well, this is the water pump. 
Huh, no wonder it stopped. These vines are growing all over it. I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off? Uh oh. There we go, just put a bit extra fire. Alright, that seems to fix it. Nice work, Fidget. Ah, stop, you're making me plunge. Okay, that's the generator and the water pump back online. Let's return to Sanji. Yeah, we I think we need... Found. <laughs> yeah, we, they were probably more to the, to the right. And we're just skipping ahead with this. Oh well, we'll call it the speedrun tactic. Wait, would this uh, not count as a accidental uh, sequence break? Hmm. Sort of, I guess. But it's not really sequence breaking as in getting it done before we actually get the quest. I think you just walk uh, past him. Hey, wait, you, you didn't seem to have a Excellent question mark. Work, Ms. Rarin. Now that the power and water systems are working again, we can hold our ground against Gaius's soldiers. You have saved many lives this day. Okay, I didn't see the quest icon pop up when we passed by them, but I might have just been going too fast to see it. Oh, I told it! I thought I expected it to... I said, I just said it, that might be him. I uh, hope I spend the clue you spend right on the goal, but nope, it was him. <laughs> Mithrarin, do you need anything else? Thank you, Elder. Yes, much to do. Less and less time to do it. Good luck. I just realized something I, I suppose it is. Something I cannot get up because. Only whenever there's a lizard species in these games, they're usually thrown in to be the evil guys. Yeah. So, in this case, they're the victims. Yeah. Now, why is there still a flag on the map at the Elders? And do we need to find... I'm guessing we need to find the scouts. Ooh. Uh, did you hear something? All I'm hearing is sizzling and bubbling. Ooh, hello. Magma Mantle. Let's see. 6 regen, 250 defense, 10 luck. Imbued with incredibly strong obsidian drawn from the volcanic Everdon Basin. Okay. Wait, we, hold on. Yeah, actually, pretty hold close on. to making that. Hold on. Hold on. It's made of obsidian? Yeah, with obsid obsidian. Is it, uh, yeah, imbued with, not made of, so obsidian right. is only part of it. All right, for otherwise, oh, no. be weird. Yes. Look. It's the missing sentry. What happened here? <laughs> so that's what happens. An assassin. It's if there's assassins empty. here, if there's yeah. more. I believe you see you walking into one now. <laughs> and they're wearing the same hats as Dust, as Gaius. These are the Imperial assassins. Okay. 
Probably more ro oh yeah, it was a royal assassin, not imperial. Still, where is the king? Yeah, that's a good question. Is he acting with the sanction of the king or against? Yeah, for his thing. But when we see Gaius, the, is it in a throne room that's on fire? Have we not seen the king? Elder, I'm afraid I have bad news. We found Kier, but he was ambushed by Gaius' soldiers. He didn't stand a chance. Then it has already begun. Dust, we are nearly out of time. Please help Sonjin get our camp support systems working once again. Without them, we will stand little chance of mounting an effective defense. Already done. It sounds like Sanjin was able to get the pumps and generators working again. <laughs> no doubt thanks to your help. With power and water flowing through our camp once again, we will be better equipped to handle our enemies in battle and properly tend to our wounded. Thank you, Dust. I believe we are as prepared as we possibly could be. With the enemy at our gates, we have no choice but to begin our assault. Our warriors are gathering at the edge of the camp, waiting for you to lead them. Take this yellow resonance gem dust. Use it to open the gate. Thank you, Elder, for everything. Whatever happens, Sen Mithrarin, know that I am honored to have stood before you. The Moonbloods will follow you unto death. Now go, and dust. Good luck. What I also like about this is that they don't treat Dust as just uh, a summoned creature or anything. They treat him like he's his own person as well. Yeah. He even said uh, he was uh, early on. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta get to the front and start the final act of this war. And I think I think I have a, a lot of quests we not turned in yet. Now there's a few at least, like we haven't turned in the box. <laughs> let's actually take a bit of a quick look. Uh, let's see, snowflakes, ah uh, yeah. We haven't we have, to have we haven't run across that Trolk revenge combo breaker for a thousand hit chain or uh, the six lost sheep how many of those did we actually find red moss we found all of them <laughs> lost in time it's okay at the there was that that's back at the start of the game practically Bale wants to improve the armor <laughs> five impites exchange for adults yeah the box and reunion. Mosca believes that Cerisa may be hiding in the hidden cove, which we couldn't get into because we didn't have the slide ability then. We do have it now, but I think it might be a bit late to go back for that now. So we'll have again a time where people are free to go f find out what the answers or the, the end of these quests are on their own time. We could do this. If we're we all only able to finish this game in 25 minutes, we could just start doing them in the next stream to fill the time out. Okay, I don't... Hmm, I don't think that'll be as... But we could probably do them after we finish the main quest. Uh, let's see, two tough metal and one hide. Uh, two fur... Okay. Idea I had in case we're okay. unable to finish it before time it goes out. Then the really? next thing would be as short. And also plenty of XP we would get. Yeah. And I forgot with, that we could buy the stuff right from <laughs> right yeah, from the windows itself. Oh so, yeah. There, one of those. Equip. 
Okay, warm sweater. Knit by hand using the finest sheep's wool. Provides warmth and, and protection. Okay. Must have picked that up somewhere along the way. And let's see. Rings. Yeah, all of these would be more defensive. So let's just keep things as is. There, the warriors are gathering. Ah, Mithraren. Superb timing. As you can see, our path out of the camp is blocked. Some manner of rock slide. Very unpredictable. Yes, that happens sometimes when you build your village in a volcanic wasteland. <laughs> anyway, we will need to clear this obstruction before we can exit the camp. I'll see what I can do. Okay. We'll just have to go find ourselves another flower. There. That's probably the last one that we'll be opening. Hello. Or, never mind. Okay, that was the second to last one we'd be opening. Never mind again. We're just a joke about it. I didn't even get a chance to joke about it until you got that third one. <laughs> Okay, what's the, that's the first one. Okay, I thought it was going to go back on itself. Yep, and another key. Okay. We're going to have to find a bomb flower or whatever they are again. And bring it all the way back. There. Okay. Oh, for love of. Hmm? I thought you were to land in love for a moment there. Another. Ow. No, we didn't land the lava at first. The lava came to dust. And then he fell into the lava. Dust almost turned into ash. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. They are done at the kill. No steely yokes now. <laughs> okay, big jump. Uh, oh, yes, keys. I thought that was a tentacle monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are just vines getting blown around. Or vines of whatever is actually able to live down here. And leak lava or hot sap? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's actually open this one. There. And who do we have here? I have no freaking clue. What the bloody heck? Okay. Oh, let's get back up. No. Let's see. I'm guessing we over this way. No, this brings us back to the start. Hmm. Okay, where do we need to find the stuff that we now out need? Is there another air vent somewhere here? Actually, the lava is not an instant kill. Yeah. No. Hmm. Realistically, it would be. Okay, where do we need to get... Hmm, maybe somewhere outside? Or over... Yep, over here, I'm guessing. Let's see... Let's just move down there. Oh, Mister Hello. Okay, I I see how these stealth fields would work. If you're not, you have to sort of be looking for them, and you can't be looking for them twenty four seven. And by the time that the flickering would be noticeable, they'd already be in striking range. Hmm. 
This just goes back. But I think see something to the right there, I think. Let's see. Yep, just with perhaps our actually final key. Pendant of Wisdom. Okay. Doubles your defense. Okay. And hmm. makes creatures stronger on all. Not all as right. strong as other ones, but actually. Can we make you no, we need more hollow shards and souls. And it costs two thousand to make. I do like when we press back, it actually brings us back to the thing we were trying to craft. Okay. Yeah, it, it'll... Yeah. We lose quite a bit of attack on this, but it's freaking double defense. Or practically double defense. Yeah, we, we are still hitting hard. Remember that. Yeah. Just now we'll be able to take the hits properly. And you know what they say, a good offense is a good defense. Yeah, and a good defense will keep you alive to keep up your offense. Yep, now. Try to avoid oh cooking yourself. <laughs> Can you do that, Hill? Hopefully. Okay, Robbie, no. I actually watched a uh, move on YouTube recently. Yeah. Yeah, it was a budget one, but better than an Asylum, I can say that. Not fantastic, but at least better than an Asylum movie. Yeah, Asylum being basically the copycats. Yeah, they, they did some copying from Jurassic World with some animations and such. Well but they did done. try to be creative. Let us begin our assault. We're right behind you, Sanmith Rarin. But it was it was watchable at least once uh, called Dinosaur Prison, and one of the main bad guy's name is Hill. <laughs> Holy! Oh, they've got those things. Okay, time to turn the battle. Okay, just kill anything in blue armor that moves. <laughs> yep. Including the dogs. Okay, Ooh, big boy. I think one of, either that was one of the enemy soldiers dying or one of the moonbloods. Okay, this this fucker is tough. Okay. Nope. One dog for the pounds. And I yeah, I think guys as soldiers are parrying our attacks at times, but not enough to actually off-balance us. Okay. Yeah, that's when we get bounced back a, a bit for a moment. That's them blocking our attacks. Robe of the... Oh, hello. 300 defense, 10 luck, 10 regen. A special robe designed solely for Sen Mitvaran. Meant to be worn in the thick of battle. That would... That would <laughs> increase our defense even more than the other one. Oh, wait, that but... Would... Yeah, that, that be, because it's... A, 
that the other one is a lock is a pendant and that's quite a bit of stuff <laughs> and pricey yeah. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the ultimate <laughs> armor. And that armor is actually just a bathroom. They're probably infused with... Oh, well, that's one cooked moonblood. Infused with their technology. And hello! Yeah, they've got airships. Or at least they had and one. And yeah, you can you can imagine this probably would have been a bit of a slog on the higher difficulties as well. So another good reason yeah. we went for story <laughs> difficulty, basically. So if we went on harder, you would definitely need to do as much quest as possible. Yeah. No yeah. escape. Sounds a little pigeon. Yeah, no escape for us or them. Yeah. I think I can see why this place is called Everdon. Yeah, because due to the, the light of the volcanoes, it's always light like it's dawn. Yeah, it kind of gives the... the, the, the yeah, if you burn up early in the morning, you see the, when dawn rises, that, that kind of light. Yeah, you'd have that here constantly. Pick that thing out quick. What a fragile those machines. Yeah, then again it's it's facing a blade of legend. Okay, put the dog out of its misery. Not the time to be taking a hot bath, people. Okay, that was another Moonblood dead. Probably been a few more off screen. We're out of our sight, at least. Stop freaking blocking. Get rid of them. Okay. Let's get ourselves a safe. Okay. Well, that's another one lost. I have to. Almost got showered. Okay, bye bye. Now, what are you going to be for? Come on! Handing up the saint, already got that. Okay, I'm guessing there's just loot behind that, so let's just keep pushing on. Okay. You know. Don't have any keys left. And it looks like we've pushed back or past the front line. It These things don't stay stunned for, like, any time. Ow. Okay. There we go. Up. Okay, we're the ones pushing the front line now. Get rid of you. Uh, 
Mac. Okay. Yep. <laughs> what I was fully intending there. Yep, yep. Might as well grab it. There. Don't. Breaking wolf. Armored wolves. Near you. Yeah, the, the thing with aircraft is that they are rock. They, to to wear normal weaponry, they would be really tough, but they also need to be really light to be able to keep in the sky. So they tend to be a lot more lightly armored than other stuff. Oh, makes sense. Yep, that would one of the moonbloods miss their jump. Okay. That's it. Put the dog into the boss. Okay. Good. Bye bye. Ah, Semifarin. Please, dust is fine. Well, Dust, we got this teleporter rough and running just a few moments ago. If you have any business elsewhere, now is the time to do it. Once the charge begins, there's no turning back. I understand. Thank you, my friend. Oh, you heard of him? Back to another quest. Uh, we do have less than 10 minutes left. But I don't really know how much longer there, there is in the game. But shall we then leave the finale to next time, no matter how short or long that may be? Yeah, let's leave it there for... Yeah. And that brings us all the way back to the start. Okay. Save the game. Level 22, 54% complete, a, or rather 54% complete total completion. Yeah, next time we start, we can do finish some of the quest, at least those we basically have already almost done. So we can, can skip the grandpa's uh, thing, I guess. <laughs> okay. Calling it a little bit early, but better to do that than to, well, and Over five time, minutes it's... short. <clears throat> yeah, that means next time we'll need another new side game. And this one uh, uh, ready and prepared. Yeah, we have Dark Sides, Detective. What was the other one you suggested for October? Or Spooktober? Uh, let's see, we had uh, the other horror game. Is Spooktober after uh, all? Uh, the Count Lucanorum? Yeah, Count uh, Luca Nora. Yes. Okay, I'll have to double check some things on that. Maybe get a guide of that ready. And yeah, just see how things go then. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. For now, we go look for someone to raid. So, change uh, window, uh, switch. Uh, <laughs> excuse you. Uh, pardon? That came out of nowhere? Yeah, that, that came out of you, not nowhere. Okay. <laughs> okay. Metaphorically. Let's see. Who have we online? Let me double check that everything is muted. Yep. Reef the Leaf is playing Dokapon Kingdom Connect. Okay. Not sure if that's a sequel or just a new version of it. Because I think this game got re released rather recently. Then we have Nico Silverado, who is playing Lies of Pi. Uh, Korodast is playing... <laughs> okay, what's with the jelly? Anyway, next we have Korodast with Bendy and the Dark Revival. Okay. I have to say that uh, I, I wasn't actively following the Bendy and the Ink Machine stuff. 
I was more in seeing it secondhand, and I have to say I was rather disappointed with how it ended. But I do have to say that they <laughs> they landed it with the Dark Revival. They managed to tie all the loose ends to, or most of the loose ends together, and make yeah things make sense. Yeah, and this time I think they avoided getting uh, overly nervous over uh, people figuring out uh, with theories what they were to do. Yeah. Let's see, we have it, Torpid it, Typists. It, hmm, go ahead. I was they learned the lesson. Yeah. Torpid Typist with R. Tonelico, 2 Melody of Met Meta Falica. Okay, this is some sort of <laughs> RPG game. Uh, code named Code named Ferret is doing a special event apparently. Uh, what are three thousand followers celebration? Okay. Uh, Chubbers the Moon Seal is playing Resident Evil Four. Lashris is playing Near Automata again. Derpy Doo is playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Halloween with is playing Deadly Premonition. Two a blessing in disguise. Okay. Wait, Deadly Premonition. Deadly Premonition. I think I've heard of that in a few videos on YouTube. Isn't it a horror game? Uh presume so. Hmm. What about this? Also, why are they hunting bloody squirrels? Okay. Next, we have WBPL, who is streaming MechWarrior Online. Okay, there's... <laughs> okay, for a moment, I thought they had a counter going up until they were live, but no, that's a, a, a group queue, apparently. Mr. Icarus is holding a special event as well. Let's see, Realms Deep 2023 Snark Along <laughs> live stream. Okay, I'm guessing they're reacting to uh, <laughs> something. Wait, Realms Deep isn't that like a? Uh, I I know what it is, but I'm failing to put it into words. I think it's sort of like a an E three, but for uh, for more indie or something. I, I'm for. Uh. Next up, we have Touch Scale Tail, who is playing Deep Rock Galactic. Let's see, six K follower mini subathon celebration. Okay, a bunch of. Follower celebrations going on apparently, and yeah. that's about that it seems. Okay. Oh, hello. I see Redacted Cat in their chats. Huh. Okay. Any suggestions there? Hmm. Let's see. Suggestions are just chatting, cyberpunk, and another special event. Who is also reacting to Realms Deep? It seems. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a, a, a lot of uh, viewers. Yeah. Okay. Um. Shall we go raid Lazarus? Yeah, let's raid Lazarus. Yeah. Okay. Copy the name. Head to our place. And slash raid paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover, and thank you as always, Drakir. Your wicked is always my friend, and thank you all for yawning. And yeah, tomorrow, uh, more Dark Side Detective, and hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully, more LA Noir in the evening. If not, we'll finish off with Dust and start on the next game on the sideshow. Likely the Count Lucanor. I'll still. I'm still a little bit unsure about that with how long it might take. We might get Wait, stuck did... and such since it's that kind of game. Let me check how long it was. Was it rather short? Let me check it right now. Let's see how long to beat. And then count Lucanor. First time checked it, we, we decided it'd be a good side quest. Okay, three. It says three and a half hours, but that could be <clears throat> that could be with a lot of people who already knew what to do and such. So I'm going to put it at uh, about four to five, maybe six for us. Yeah, and completion is six hours. All right, this is a this is a side quest game, a very clean side quest game. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll still look for a walkthrough or something or something with tips to keep us uh, moving along in case we get stuck. Definitely do that, since if he is have a lot of puzzles, it'd probably be good idea to do a guide. So I'm with you on that part. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, one final yeah. stretch. Yeah, careful and now. Yeah. Don't uh, drop your arms. <laughs> and with that, let's start the raids and yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and have a lovely evening.